Hey YouTubers, more is Rob Moffitt. Guys, this morning we're going to be using a Duplicolor paint pen for touch-up. I've got some little uh, paint that came off uh, on my car. It was painted a couple years ago, and uh, I thought I would try the Duplicolor touch-up paint. Uh, first, I uh, removed any uh, wax or uh, residue from the, the car paint with some alcohol and a clean shop rag. And... Uh, because I wax my car several times a year, and I want to make sure I got all the wax off. And uh, then I took out the paint pen. Uh, I tried shaking it up, but it didn't seem to matter. There's no, like, little ball inside. On one end is a uh, clear coat with a little brush you can use when you finish painting. And on the other end, there is a uh, an abrasive tool to help you uh, smooth out or, or roughen up the edges and stuff on whatever surface area you're going to be working on and it's got also a little paint pen and it's got a little brush like a, a fingernail polish brush i'm going to be using the paint pen because it's the smallest uh, feature on the the touch up paint uh, paint pen and i'm going to use the brush because i've just got two little tiny flaky parts there i don't know what happened i don't know if something hit the car or something bumped into it hopefully it's not just coming off because of the paint is bad um, but the paint's been on there for two years. It was very inexpensive uh, uh, paint, enamel paint. It wasn't epoxy. I'm going to be using the paint pen three times. It's very hot out, and it, the paint dries very quickly. Um, and in fact, you probably shouldn't be painting the car as hot as it was. And I didn't rough up the edges because it was so small of an area. And what I'm doing is I'm just trying to put on the smallest amount I can. After it dries, I put on another coat. When it's finished, I'm going to let it sit for a couple days and then try to smooth it out with the abrasive tool that's on the pen or maybe some sort of uh, really fine sandpaper. And then uh, either put on some more paint or put on the clear coat. The paint color doesn't match as well as I hoped. It looks really good on the camera. But uh, in person, you can see it really well and uh, it doesn't blend as well as I hoped but I, I watched or excuse me I read a lot of reviews on Amazon and some people mentioned that the color at first uh, didn't match either for them but in a few days it blended in much better as time went by this is a very simple item to use um, very inexpensive and I didn't realize it had clear coat with it. I thought it was just the regular touch of paint. And also I didn't realize it had an abrasive tool. Although I didn't use it. So I'm not sure how well it works. But I think I paid just like 7 or 8 bucks. I'll leave a link to the one I purchased on Amazon. But always try to find the best price you can. Don't just go to Amazon. You might find them cheaper on eBay or maybe the auto parts store. See it looks really good there. And, and with that angle in the sun. But... Um, in the shadow, you can see it really well. And also, um, when you don't have it under the camera, well, I can see it with my eyes really well because I, I guess I'm looking for it. But um, So I hope this was something helpful to you if you've never used a paint pen before. I never have before either. It was uh, fun to use, and uh, hopefully I won't have to use it too much more. <laughs> Take care. See you out there.